Let's take a look at what's going on tomorrow morning. Uh, you definitely want to get up and get rolling because it is going to be a little chilly again. Temperatures in the 30s south, 40s closer to the lake. Variably cloudy skies expected. Not too bad for the afternoon and the evening. Actually pretty seasonable for this time of the year. I think we're going to bounce into the 60s for the afternoon. Now we have been watching another wave in our pinwheel uh, moving through the area tonight. That stirred up some more showers. So we're dealing with light sprinkles and showers riding right along the lake in into our near lakeshore areas, but you can see just how this whole like jelly roll effect is taking place at this very mature cyclone for the weather nerds out there. Basically, this is an old storm system that just does not want to go away. Very slowly, it will begin to migrate eastward. That should start to take place as we go through the next 48 hours. But in the meantime, we still have clouds that are pinwheeling around this thing. And yeah, those scattered showers too. You can see there are a few breaks in the clouds cover, but we also have these rain showers. This is not all lake effect. This is a little bit of a wave of energy that's moving through too, with a little lake enhancement thrown in. But if we can get some decent clearing taking place farther south, that's when we would be able to achieve our coldest temperatures. I don't think the rain will reach far south, so there's that. That's probably going to help to lower the temperatures a little bit. A lot of this rain is very light, sprinkles even, that's just kind of shooting out right along the lakeshore areas from Lorraine through Cleveland and in into portions of uh, Chardon and out toward Jefferson, Ashtabula, Kingsville, Conneaut area too. So it's not expected to end up being a lot of rain, just more nuisance rain than anything else. The temperatures are holding in the 50s for now. Again, we get that clearing in here and that's going to allow the temperatures to drop back. Let's take a look at your national design our hour by hour forecast overnight. There's the rain showers that are kind of plaguing the lakeshore areas. We should start to see that backing off somewhat as that wave of energy works its way through. We'll be left with some residual energy to start the day tomorrow and that's where that little shower chance comes from even with a southwest wind. Remember a southwest wind kind of takes the lake out of play, but that's the surface wind. Winds just above the surface can also be problematic when it comes to the lake, and I think that's what you're seeing represented there on our forecast model. However, farther south, by about 5, 6, 7 a.m., we may start to see enough clearing that the temperatures can bomb back into the 30s for the start of the day. But the good news is that southwest wind combined with some sunshine will help us out a lot. We should be up around 60 degrees at noon, and I think we are aiming into the low and mid 60s for the day tomorrow. 64 is our average high this time of the year. We're going to get to see some sunshine, which everybody should be pretty excited about. And uh, by the time we hit Wednesday night into Thursday, here comes our next little round of rain. This is associated with a warm front that is going to precede some nice mild air that will be here by Friday. But as you can see, Thursday we'll have some clouds around. Right now it looks like most of the showers should be in the morning and then in the afternoon we'll just deal with cloud cover. But look what's on the other side of that. Temperatures into the upper 60s for our Friday and your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Rain becomes likely on Saturday. We get a warm front nine out of times ten, nine out of ten times we're gonna have a cold front or some kind of system coming through. And indeed, that is the case. We'll also have much cooler air that fills in here by the time we hit Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And we're gonna stay on the cooler side of things as we head through most of next week. Russ? All right, Betsy, thanks.